Hi, this is Daniel from Fat Quilter World and AvidQuilter.com. Today's project, I don't know if you read my blog yesterday, but I, I had that on my head. And it really inspired me. This is actually a frame that was on our wall up here that was empty. And so we decided, and I had this brilliant thought, which is not really that brilliant, but we were going to resurrect the frame and bring it back and make a memory board slash whatever else you want to call it. So there's a slash there for that. So anyway, it's going to be really, really easy. That's my hope that it's really easy. I don't have any directions. Uh, so hopefully this works out and we'll see how it goes. So anyways, here's what we got. We need a frame. We need some material that we got at Fat Quarter World. And we have some batting that just picked up at my local store. And this actually got this cork board, a uh, foam board, um, bought at an art and craft store, pretty cheap, it was like a buck, so kind of sturdy-ish. Doesn't need to be real sturdy. I like it sturdy though. Anyways, and hot glue gun, which you want to be careful with the hot glue gun, because that's hot. I actually just touched it, because I, I don't know, I guess I thought it wasn't hot, and I, and I burned my finger. Don't want to do that. And some scissors, cutter, whatever else you need to get it all worked out. Anyways, first things first, you want to measure the back of this to make sure that it's going to fit inside there. This one happened to be 8 by 10 Pretty easy. So I just got my foam board, made my measurements, cut it out. So I got my little piece here ready to go. And you basically want to do that with everything. After you get that cut out, get your batting. Same thing, cut it out to the piece you're going to need. And the fabric as well. I Like I said, this I got a Fat Quarter World. Uh, just a plaid piece of fabric. I thought it was kind of nice. Um, I think it goes well with the red. And, you know, I almost forgot what we're going to do also. Is we have these uh, little strips here that I cut out that I'm going to put across like that. And I thought it would be kind of cute, personally. And we'll see how it works. So, here we go. First things first. And I'm going to put some hot glue on the corners just to kind of hold down my Batting, don't put much, just enough to hold it down. I think that came out too fast. Also, just to let the viewers know, I found out this morning that my wife is pregnant, and I'm excited. Okay, so we're going to lay the batting down on there. Just kind of tap those edges down. Don't tap too hard, because that glue is still pretty hot. I can feel it. All right, so that's on there, and it's in place. It's not coming off. Alrighty, so take your fabric, just lay your fabric down, so you lay it down here, kind of get your fabric set in place. Okay, so what I need to figure out, I guess I can just do a strip of glue, let me just do that. Alrighty, just fold that over, you can kind of pull it a little tight. Sit it on there. Be careful. Man, if you're going to do this and you have delicate hands, wear gloves. All right, that's on there. And I'm going to do the other side as well. All right. Got those in, and now these corners, you don't want to just fold it down. We're going to kind of, like if you're folding, a, like gift wrapping a present, and you're going to kind of make your edge kind of a diagonal fold like that first. So we'll do that, and we're going to put glue on here first before we fold, because it ain't going to go anywhere. So just kind of glue that edge down there, put some glue on it. All righty. Again, do that little gift wrap foldy thing. I don't have a real technical term for it. So let's do that on both sides. Ah, just touch the glue. Burns, it burns. Touched it twice. Not good. Okay. Well, this side didn't work out so well. And I got glue on my finger. Eh. But you know what? At least I'm trying. So that's always a plus. So anyways, let's do the other side, same thing. Alrighty, next, 
Now we've got our pieces of, uh, I don't even know what this is really. I don't know what you call it. We got it in the area of the store that does uh, the drapes and things. I thought it was kind of cool. So, uh, but if you know what it's called, feel free to email me at daniel.fatquarterworld.com and let me know. Maybe binding, I don't know. Just email me, let me know. You know, because I'm learning too. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it down how you want it. Okay. I'm gonna glue the corners down. A little glue there, a little dabble, do ya? Another little dabble, do ya? And whatever you do, guys, especially because you probably don't work with hot glue a lot, resist the temptation to smudge, as I was told, because it could come out and burn you. But I've already been burned, so. Alrighty. So that's in place. Hey, look at that. Looks good. I did good. I guess the same thing here. Just put some uh, glue down. <gasps> ah! See what I did? I pushed it out, burned my finger. Both of them. Ah! Okay, so that's kind of what we got. Yeah, looks all right. I like it. Okay, so now I've got two more pieces that I'm going to put the other direction. That and I got glue everywhere. It's awesome. I guess I'm going to go this way with it. Perhaps should look pretty well. What kind of? Well, anyways, I like it. This is fun. Okay. Alrighty, so that's what we got. It's together-ish. Take your frame. This one already had a cable on it. We just kind of unhooked it. This way it doesn't get in the way and we'll just move it out of the way. And take your piece here. And this, because of the, I don't even know, whatever this is, might have to shove it in there. So, uh, and I'll just cut it once it's in place because I'm not really worried about it. Let's see if this fits. Ugh. Little elbow grease, get it in there. Awesome. I'm gonna take a peek first before I show the work. Oh my gosh. Okay. That, that's pretty awesome right there. I just want you to know that. I don't care who you are, guy, girl, whatever. That's just too cool. All right, guys, I can do it, you can do it. And you know what, you can lie about it. Say your wife made it, say your kid made it, whatever you wanna do. But this is awesome. Or if you want to be a real man and just admit it, admit that you made it. So pretty simple, some fabric, some ropey stuff, some hot glue, an old frame, and some foam board. You can't beat it. This was awesome. Alrighty, well, this is our uh, second episode of Man vs. Quilt, or Craft, excuse me. And I would have to say that this is two for man, zero for craft. And uh, if you've been reading my blog or saw my last video, we're doing a challenge, so send me some ideas or some things that uh, you think that uh, I can't do or that I can do. Or if you've got any ideas and just pointers on uh, how I can uh, improve, uh, feel free to email me at daniel at fatquarterworld.com or check out avidquilter.com and uh, go to our blog there and uh, feel free to leave me a comment. All right, well, this is Daniel again from Fat Quarter World and avidquilter.com, and we hope to see you next time. And... Um, be sweet and uh, keep crafting.